Well, congratulations to this guy because we are in his new house. Welcome. This is my new house. <laughs> the person that bought the house is behind the camera holding the camera. But I live here, so well, there's nothing here. Uh, there's some stuff in the fridge, like two pies, two cans of seltzer, a bottle of wine. YouTube didn't pay for this yet. Uh, no, YouTube's not paying for this. Shangies isn't paying for this, so. <laughs> You're what? not even paying for this. <laughs> I'm not even paying for this. So this is, uh, I'm just Man, I guess we have a studio audience now. I'm just a freeloader here. Yeah, we have a studio audience. <laughs> so we're doing these, you know, live. So, you know, buy tickets and come see us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Today... We have a potentially sponsored episode, I'll get to that in a couple moments, but this is Heliocentric Sherbet Tart Ale. So it's tart ale brewed with pineapple, raspberry, and orange. It's one pint and it is from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So it's something from our home state, love that. Hey, shout out to Brian, he lives out there. Yeah, Brian, you live out there and he, you did a beer review with yeah, us. Yeah, he was a guest star once when we were in Carlisle. Absolutely, if you haven't seen that video, go see it. it was Rusty rail peanut butter something. I just remember it was peanut butter. Peanut butter. Name yeah. Go name watch that video. Name. Watch them all. A new trail brewing company, foreign objects, and Discord collaboration. So three different breweries worked on this, I'm guessing. 5.5% yeah. alcohol by volume. Well, it's sherbet, so it's like three flavors. Yeah, oh, well, there you go. Well, yeah, sherbet's usually a bunch. <laughs> It doesn't say the alcohol content on the can, so I'm telling you now, it's 5.5%. We actually had to have somebody look it up. So, now you know. And uh, that somebody is the person that may or may not have sponsored this episode. She's only sponsoring it if it's good. If it's good, she sponsored it. If it's not good, she didn't sponsor it. So let's see. Let's see what we have. Man, you already spilled on your new counter. Perfect. Granite or something, I don't know. Some sort of rock. It's a rock. It smells pretty good. If you drop a glass on it, it will break. Yeah. Not this glass, it's plastic. This is glass. Glass. Yeah, we don't have all the cups here yet, so yeah. easy. But well, we have some beer. We're working on it. it. Smells really good. What do you think, buddy? It smells like beer, just like Wow, it smells, really? like, it, smells it smells like, like beer. It smells a little bit IPA. IPA. I don't know. It's good taste. It's good. It's sweet. Tangy. It's tart. refreshing. Tangy. It says tart on the bottle. Like a fresh piece of pineapple. Really? You taste the pineapple? It tastes oh. a lot of pineapple. Hey, there's whispering going on behind the camera. What's going on? These people behind us. I'll let you know. Do I have a stain on my shirt? You can't find good free camera help. Let me tell you. <laughs> huh? How rude. What? <laughs> I'm getting a message from the other side of the camera, but they're not telling me. I don't have a cue card. The teleprompter is blank. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the message? Something... Something with this this finger. Just continue the <laughs> beer review. All right. Well, it's good. It looks like it has sparkles in it, but it doesn't. Dude, I don't know if I taste the pineapple. It's good. I taste a lot of pineapple. I taste that like orange fruity flavor you There's get from sherbet. Pineapple, raspberry, and orange. I taste more oh, orange. I'm getting pineapple and orange. What is it, raspberry? I don't know about raspberry. I'm not a big fan of raspberries. Really? Too many seeds. <laughs> That's your problem with it? Yeah. Um, they taste good. You pick the seeds out, Jason? No, I just don't eat them. I just don't eat the raspberries. I don't eat strawberries either. I don't like strawberries. I'll do 8.3. Yeah? You yeah, liked it that I much? Like it. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7.5 because I would definitely order this again at a bar. It's actually pretty good, uh, especially being cold and... It does have somewhat of a sherbet taste, so it's it's pretty interesting as far as beer goes. Dang. And you still definitely get your, your sour tartness yeah. of it. It is actually a little sour. Um, it's not like uh, some of the other sour beers we tried where it was just like kind of bland. Like punch so in the like, face sour either. It's like good. Yeah, it's more on the more on the subject of like that black cherry uh, warheads mm -hmm. we did last week. That was a really good one. If you haven't seen that video, see it and if you Found that beer 
enjoy it because it's good. And if you didn't find it, go find it and drink it. I'm gonna sneeze, maybe. <laughs> You're right. I'm trying to hold it in. All right, I got it. We're good. All right, so yes, this episode was sponsored by Lauren. She's behind the camera. Thank you, Lauren, for sponsoring this episode. All right, where does beer come from? Wegmans. Wegmans. It's at Wegmans. If you want it, go to Wegmans and get it. They've been really coming in clutch for us lately. We're getting all sorts of stuff from them. Wegmans has all kinds of stuff. If you've never been to a Wegmans, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you need to go. Wegmans has all kinds of stuff. If Highly recommended. Yeah, if you can't find something you like in Wegmans, uh, move to like a different planet. Uh, yep, Wegmans doesn't sponsor us. Shangies doesn't sponsor us. We get a lot of beer from Shangies when we're down that way, but we haven't been down that way in a while. So Shangies, sorry we miss you. We'll see you again soon. But Wegmans is right down the road from here, like 10 minutes away. So Wegmans, we're gonna be getting a lot of beer from you. So cheers. Cheers, have a beer with us.